Well, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Woolley. Woo, hello. my favorite. Yes. Thank you so much for having me into your home here. One year into marriage. Let's see Welcome. that, that sparkly Welcome. hardware. So nice. All I am fixing it on is that stunning diamond. I love it. We designed it. We designed our ring. I my mean, ring. A, a special ring for mm -hmm. a very special marriage. And I want to get into all things Woolly family life. Yes. It's been so cool to, of course, follow Christine on TV for the last 15 or so years. And then getting to meet you this season has been really like the cherry on top. Mom's boyfriend is here. Ooh. Hello, Richard. Richard? <laughs> Who is Richard? His name is David. Nobody's Richard. What show is that from? I'm, I, I just called you Richard. Christine obviously gives you the big stamp of approval for you know how wonderful you are on TV. I think the fans are really enjoying watching you. What has your experience been like? Are you enjoying it? Is it invasive? How do you feel? No, it just t tell me what I need to do and I'll do it. And but sometimes they don't tell me and I'm like, I don't know what to do. So then I have to watch other people and it's awkward, but I'm getting more and more comfortable with it. Yeah. So do so I, I like it? it would, do I, would I have ever done this? No. <laughs> yeah, without no. Christine, this probably wouldn't be your no. path. <laughs> so, of course, you're so natural when you film with Christine and I'm sure the children, but have you filmed with, you know, Cody or, or Mary or Janelle at this point? We filmed a little bit and it was okay. I'm not, I don't get nervous at all. I'm yeah, not no. intimidated by people. Yeah. And it doesn't bother me at all. What's that dynamic like when you're in a shared space with, you know, you represent the new side of Christine's life and then the people who represent the former part of Christine's life? <laughs> I'm me, and I just be me. And if people don't like it, then then I don't know what to do. So I'll always be. Did they who like I am. it? Oh yeah. It was, was everyone all, respectful? It, everyone, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. No, it was, everybody. It was good. You'll see it. I'm just saying. No. <laughs> there was a lot of leading up to it, a lot of stress leading up to I it. I can imagine. You're gonna, yep. You're. They're gonna see it. Okay. Yep. It and you'll see it. You'll see about like. You'll see if there's shots fired. You'll see if there's like punches thrown. You'll see oh, there? No, stop it. No. Oh, no. We're gonna have to wait. I wanna know, was it kumbaya or was mm. it was it You're contentious? Have to wait. Just saying. Okay. Your thoughts walking away from filming a scene like that with, with Christine's, you know, former relatives. It's just like any other woman that I've dated, I've met their ex. It's no big deal. It's not a big deal. Listen to this maturity. He makes everything just simple and uncomplicated. That's the vision, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't worry about things or stress about things. And I'm like, I can't even, I can't even breathe. My stomach is tied up in knots and blah, blah, blah. And I can't even do this. And he's like, well, I mean, okay. No, no. he's really supportive, but he's like, should I be nervous? I'm like, no, just be yourself. Just that's good. it, authenticity is key. That's it, he's authentic. So Christine obviously is a fan favorite and lives her life on TV. I imagine that the cameras aren't going anywhere anytime soon. Are you down for the long haul? Oh yeah, I support you. I support her a lot. Even when she's feeling really low, I'm like, you got this, you can do it. Oh. Um, oh. Meeting her fans outside the show, it's people don't understand what she goes through. Fans come up and she's just genuine with them and she's there and they're they're crying and they're saying thank you. And it's like, it just blows me away. I see it that part, but the biggest thing is when they say, I know you don't know me, but I know you and they start <laughs> laughing. Isn't I'm that like, wild? I'm it's like, funny. you don't know her. I have to know because we are all human. Yes. I need one pet peeve that you have about one another. Oh, I'll start out with that. <laughs> David's like, let me Let's get the do laundry it, list. It's that phone. <laughs> The maps on there, she has to use that for everything. That's his pet Everything, I'm like. the map. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a pass on that. Yeah. <laughs> see? Yeah. I know. I use maps all day long. Do that. No. I know. Uh -huh. I know. How else are you gonna do it? Yes. Let's I know. see. Where's my bathroom? No, <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. But like, I'm talking more behavioral. Is it like, leaves the, you know, leaves the water running or is consistently late? No, really? no. no. You know what? That's just small petty stuff. That doesn't bother me at all. There's a lot bigger stuff to worry about, and I think it's cute. There's a lot of stuff there. She'll she'll get and get in bed, and all of a sudden, she'll, oh my water bottle! She knocks it over every night, and I just start laughing <laughs> because it's Middle funny. Of the night. It's like, I know. but then her daughters do it, so I know where it all came from. <laughs> ah, so, interesting. We're all not oh, very yeah. graceful people. Uh, okay, so. so maybe a little clumsy, Christine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What yeah. is your pet peeve about David? 
We talked about the whole toilet situation with the lid up versus lid down, but that would be maybe it. I don't, I don't know. know. You don't put it down? No, he likes the seat up, so the seat's down, okay. but the lid is not down. The seat's down, the seat's fine. No, so no, I don't no, sit no, in no, it. Way, no. I don't sit down and sink into a bottomless to get my butt wet, no. As you get older, the lid, you've been it's just trained that lid. to, you gotta sit down at You're not the first person that, that said that. No, so and I, so I, you do. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> yeah, so maybe that's it, but we, I mean, it doesn't matter, I don't care. Yeah, it's fine, it's all And if that seat's down, it's not a good feeling. Yes. So is there. So no. Okay. Wow, this really is a healthy relationship. It, it is. We talk meetings. about everything. No. Everything. 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 No, we'll wake up in the middle of the night and have a conversations. Yeah. And then we'll roll back to go to bed. Mm. We'll That's talk nice. at nighttime when we're ready to go to bed and talk in the middle part in the mornings. True. She'll start having hot flashes. He does. He, grab a hold that's what it is. That is my pet peeve. <laughs> I'm having a hot flash. We're just cuddling, and instead of letting me go, so I can let everything I said, we air can get out. This, baby, he's like, no, time. and he holds me tighter, and I'm like, no. He reminds me of Cody. He's like from the same generation for sure. All this boomer stuff that I have no idea what he was saying, but Cody, like, he's not a boomer. He's totally a boomer. Are you no. kidding? Other than birth date, general time, not much in common with Cody. No, no. Oh. We're two totally different people. No. He wears actually underwear, not big boy panties. Like real <laughs> underwear. <laughs> Six pack and abs? Si you know what? Not even close. Six pack Love and what is it? Oh, sorry, what was the quote? It was, what was it that he was so obsessed that he let Janelle wanted? I got nice pecs and a great six pack abs, but that's all she's interested in. David is not shallow, <laughs> just saying. It's actually the depth of character that's pretty awesome. And you yes. know what? I, I let my hair go a long, that's true. long time ago. I don't I have to compete. I don't have to compete no. with the hair. Yes. I used to have, it was his fifth wife. I never knew where I fit. Wow, the hair is with all his the locks. fifth wife? I think so. So this is really, I'm very confident, you know? A real stark contrast, physically yeah. and emotionally. Right. Congratulations on mm -hmm. hitting the milestone of one year married. Thank you. Well, thank you. It's been a fun year. Christine and David, by the power of SNME, by the state of Utah, I am pleased to finally join these two soulmates. How has this year changed you? I'm more confident and um, more me than I've ever been before. I like the new me so much, but I'm more independent and confident than I ever was before being married. I don't even Go understand figure. it. It's so weird. When you find your person that you actually fulfill your life and you complete me all that ridiculous, I'm like, oh, that's dumb. No, it's a real thing. Amazing. I love that. I don't know. How has married life after 12 years of being single, how um, has married life shaped you? I realized that I could, uh, I miss her when she's gone. I miss my bad buddy. Um, <laughs> I was so independent. I did everything. I cooked and cleaned laundry. I did everything for my kids. And now I'm like, holy cow, I rely on her so much. Yeah, split the responsibilities. Me because it's like, I never knew this, and she does more than I could ever imagine. I never had anything the way she takes care of me. It's crazy. That is so beautiful, I love it. The thing in this relationship that you are most grateful to have that you didn't have in your past relationship? For Trust me, and honesty. Yeah, for me it's like, um, we just sync up really well and the conversations are pure and good, and the only intention of a good conversation is to have the good conversation and fix whatever it is, yeah. but it's no safe. motives, no ulterior motives. No ulterior oh, motives. I don't know. She. No. I don't know. I've never seen that. No. 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 Never no. seen that in her. Not being honest. Yeah. No. Same. No. The con the the conversations. No. I, it's amazing. I don't dread them ever. Okay. So great conversations, mm -hmm. and for you, trust and honesty. Yeah, because yeah. that goes a long ways for me, knowing that I have a partner I can trust, and with my kids. Oh, she's. She's better than I am at my kids. Same. You're better no, than I am. No, at my kids she too. is. He's really she remembers great. all the birthdays, all the stuff. Christmas. Oh my gosh. I'm like, really? We're gonna do that? She's like, Yep, we're doing it. Remembers the birthdays. Because we gotta keep that spirit alive. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. just saying the intimacy part is also really, really, really great. How great? Just absolutely the best ever. <laughs> when best you and ever. I, when you and I zoomed before, like right yeah. when you had split, and I said, you know, are you thinking about dating? I'm like, what do you want in a partner? I'll never forget. You said someone who's att who's attracted to me would be a really great thing. Yeah, it would be. It's very nice to be with someone who's attracted to me. Very nice. How is the intimacy for you? Oh, it's awesome. It's really good. It's um, something there that is between her and I, and yeah. it's great. I'm so happy for the two of you. Thanks. I always grill Christine, and I make her do a State of the Union. 
because you're our newcomer to the Sister Wives world, I would love to know where your relationships stand with the following people. So Janelle. Jill and I have a great relationship. She's, I, I like to tease her because she gets a little she nervous about know. things. And so the more she gets nervous, the more I want to tease her. I know she does not like the PDA between the two of you. No. She's like goggles on. Yes, yeah, oh. she is. Yes. She is. Then we'll do it even more then. I know, I know. Okay, so Janelle, things are good. Oh yeah, great with Janelle. How about Mary? Mary, um, don't know her well at all, other than I met her twice, so I don't know her. Okay. I really don't know, so I can't say. Robin. Same there too. With Robin, I met her that one time. We talked for a couple minutes, and that was it, so. Was it pleasant? Yeah, I can talk to anybody. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Cody. Cody is somebody that's interesting, that, I, that he has a lot of emotions, and I think, one day we can talk, and I think it'll be fine. You would love to sit down and have no, a- I think we'd have a great conversation. Ooh, what's the first thing you would ask him? Get rid of the hair. That's <laughs> Let not a it question. Go. <laughs> you wouldn't ask a question. question. No. <laughs> no. No, I um, think that's really sweet, David. You know, a lot of people would say something very different, which is like, keep the X over here and I'm over here. I think it's really no. mature no. and sweet. It speaks to your character. No, I have no- there's nothing there for me. I, my relationship was with her, yeah. not Cody, not anybody else, just with her. She's my number one. So I protect her, yeah. protect her kids. Okay, so with Cody, maybe TBD? I guess we'll see. Hmm, yeah, I guess you'll have to see, won't you? Okay. Hmm. Is, are you going to pick up the phone or would it have to be the other way around? I don't know. That's a really, really interesting thing. I really don't know. Okay, we'll circle back with you. Okay. And then Christine's kids, who would you say you're maybe the closest with and who would you hope to become closer with? Um, the closest with, with Truly, of course, because we live together, so her and I bond really well. Um, over what? Just over everything. When she's upset with Christine, I can just break the ice by just teasing her. He doesn't and allow her to be a moody teenager. No. He just talks when he starts addressing her and doesn't walk in eggshells around her. He's like, you're moody like your cat, Truly. And I'm like, <gasps> And then she's like, like, well, you're morning. moody. She's no, she saying. can just be herself with me. Yeah. And I don't judge her on it. No. Just be yourself. And we have a great time. Yeah. Probably Gwendolyn would be more because we don't see her much. Her and Bia. Yeah. Love them. They're awesome. Um, like to get them. The rest, I know. McKelty and I, we, we go toe to toe, see who can tease each other most. You've just completed one year of marriage. Yes. yes. I have a funny feeling we will probably be here together celebrating your 20th, 30th, hopefully 40th wedding anniversary. Yes. What will life look like at that point for the two of you? I would say even better than what we have right mm -hmm. now because as we grow, we learn to do more together. And biggest thing is communication. We communicate when she has problems or issues, concerns. I'll sit down, we'll talk about it. Or if I, there, she's, she won't say nothing, I'll say, we gotta sit down and talk. And a lot of guys don't wanna do that. No, they don't wanna hear great. their wives. No, it's and it's so different. simple and easy to do. Mm -hmm. Sounds to like figure, you celebrate. And I had to figure that it's out. Nice. Yeah. So. It does celebrate me, it's really nice. You found a good one. I know, I'm lucky, really lucky. Yeah, we're really blessed.